good job. There's a lot going on in kindergarten. Are you ready to create masterpieces? Like yeah! We'll have kids who can't even recognize or write their name, and they come into kindergarten and they learn how to do it, and by the end of the year you can read their name, and if you look back at their writing from the beginning, you say, whose paper is this? And you don't know whose paper it is sometimes because of the way they wrote their name at the beginning. It's not just about learning that activity, they're learning about how to interact with different types of people. Kids learn through play. It's not just focused on academics. They learn sharing, they learn caring with other students. There are times in kindergarten where kids have building blocks of puzzles, crayons, coloring, a variety of things that to an average person coming in and seeing those kids participating in that, they would think that it's just dedicated playtime, but kids are actually learning skills that will benefit them um, to become good citizens. To me, rigor means meeting a child's needs where they're at and moving them forward. So maintaining growth in all your students. When I think of rigor and what I'm looking at doing in my classroom is having kids being able to express themselves, to verbalize what it is that they're doing, really becoming a thinker and a communicator. In the past, I know we've had this vision of you know, a nice quiet classroom with the kids working on a worksheet is a wonderful classroom. There's lots of learning. But I don't think that's necessarily the case, and especially when children are five and six years old. They need to be able to get up and they need to be able to have that movement. In kindergarten here, we do a lot of songs. We sing a lot. We read poems a lot. And when we do our phonics lessons, they're mostly game-based. So a child will play back and forth with another friend with a word game, or they'll build words together. Even if they already know letter sounds, and even if they already know some words, they don't see themselves as readers. And by the end of the year, all of the kids see themselves as readers. Yeah, and her teacher. You're just going to be amazed at the growth that you're going to see throughout the whole year. We want kids that come to school excited to learn, and they do. We want to make sure kids have an opportunity to still be kids. We plan for full day kindergarten. We plan knowing that we have still very young children for a long time in the day. So. We intentionally want to make that day a place of joyful learning. We'll make the best way to 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 La educación empieza en la casa. Education starts at home. And if you have parents who are involved, that is setting your child up for success. We recognize that our parents are the first teachers of our kids, and our goal is to build upon what they have already done. I've been able to engage with my kids' teachers and get to know them, and they've gotten to know our family and understand what makes my children special. Parents are their child's first teacher, and we try to make sure that our parents know that. I think there's an equity piece. If you have kids that are in a half day program and a full day program, they aren't being exposed to the daily ins and outs of a regular school day. Well-roundedness is not just in the classroom, but it's also in the arts. So we provide for our full day students, PE, art literacy. There's several levels of intervention that happens within a full day. It really lets us dive deeper into the areas of social studies and science and help the kids explore and wonder more about the world around them. We don't think about the future when they're in high school or when they're in college. We need to think about the future when they walk through the doors of kindergarten. Yeah.